Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, help us choose the most important airborne stories for 2016. First production Scorpion Jet takes flight. Ostro Engine celebrates a milestone. Hello, I'm Christopher Seal, and it's December 27th, 2016, and this is Airborne Unlimited. During the last year, ANN has covered a lot of aviation and aerospace stories in our Airborne broadcasts. We came up with the idea of presenting a review of the most important stories covered in 2016, but we realize it's not what was important to us that counts. It's the stories that caught the attention of our viewers that matters. We're looking for your input on stories that were of interest to you. It may have been some shattering news, or it may have been one of our videos that make you happy, sad, or amazed. We want you to tell us what caught your attention. Don't be afraid to tell us why it caught your attention. Add a few notes so we can share your thoughts with everyone. Send us an email and we'll put a program together soon that features 2016 in our review from our viewers' viewpoint. Send an email to jim at aerodashnews.net and let us know. The first production conforming Scorpion jet has been flown for the first time by Textron Airland. This program milestone closely follows the recent successful weapons capability exercise on the prototype Scorpion completed in early October. The Scorpion jet is a new direction for tactical aircraft designed to excel in roles ranging from intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance to close air support and arm reconnaissance. The latest version of the Scorpion incorporates a few improvements based on target customer feedback as well as results from the extensive flight test program. The program has accumulated more than 800 flight hours in both test and real-world operational settings. The company also announced Garmin as the avionics provider for the Enhanced Scorpion. This avionics platform is based on the Advanced G3000 integrated flight deck and is optimized for rigorous military operations. The flight testing will work closely with the United States Air Force on the first-of-its-kind airworthiness assessment of a non-DOD military aircraft design. After the break, Austro Engine AE300 is a perfect fit for general aviation. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Build and fly with the most exciting line of kit aircraft on the market, the Sonics Aircraft B models. The B models offer more room and comfort, more fuel, more panel space, more engine choices, and the same great Sonics Aircraft flight characteristics. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. The Bristel Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, or our website or podcast, just email to news-spy at aero-news.net. Ostro Engine, a company of the Diamond Aircraft Group, is celebrating 1 million flight hours of the AE300 jet fuel aviation engine. Since the start of this serial production in 2008, more than 1,500 engines have been delivered into operation. The 170 horsepower AE300 Ostro engine turned out to be a perfect fit for light aircraft and launched the Jet A1 piston engine in general aviation. When compared to an equal power of gasoline piston engine, the AE300 has a 45% lower fuel burn and it produces significantly less exhaust emissions. It is also recognized for being a quiet engine. 
It has proved popular of pilots because it uses an electronic control unit with an integrated single power lever design. Because it operates on diesel fuel, it has gained popularity in areas of the world where Avgas is not available. Every Tuesday, we look ahead at some of the more interesting events in the aviation universe. It's not as easy to find flying air events this time of the year, but we knew if we look at the southern part of the United States, we would come up with something that sounds warm and fun. Here's this week's Aero Calendar. We'll start off with the Wings of Dreams Flying, Drive-In, and Breakfast in Stark, Florida. It all takes place at the Keystone Airport Park and features a Flying, Drive-In, Breakfast buffet to benefit the Wings of Dreams Aviation Space Museum. There will be a complimentary breakfast for World War II and Korean War veterans. The featured guest speaker will be Bob Gash, an Iwo Jima veteran who witnessed the raising of the American flag on Mount Siribachi. Next, we'll head for Jacksonville, Texas, for the New Year's Day fly-in at the Cherokee County Airport. It all takes place on December 31st, where you can enjoy ham, black-eyed peas, greens, and all of your favorites. We are told they will also have some cornbread to go with all the hangar flying and lying. It all takes place from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. and is hosted by EAA Chapter 1592. They wanted us to tell you that it's the 31st because New Year's Day falls on a Sunday. And now we look ahead to the end of January for the 13th annual U.S. Sport Aviation Expo being held in Sebring, Florida. The Sport Aviation Show starting on January 25th features sport aircraft and includes conventional aircraft, kit planes, powered parachutes, trikes, gyros, amphibians, drones, and innovative designs such as electrically powered aircraft. Over 150 aircraft will be on display. You can try, fly, and buy at this event. The Sport Aviation Expo is the place where the sky isn't the limit, it's the beginning. We'll be bringing you more news about the Sport Aviation Expo in the coming weeks. After these messages, the Barefoot Bandit is grounded. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Explore no limits flying in the FAA certified Sea Ray Amphibious LSA. One of the top three best selling LSAs in the U.S., Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray comes equipped with a Rotax engine and exhibits extraordinary handling on land, water, and in the air. Check it out at www.searay.com. Renbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Renbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing a few of those other great stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The guy known as the Barefoot Bandit, Colton Harris, more, served four years in jail for going on an international crime spree that involved stealing airplanes. His recently publicized request to now become a licensed pilot has been given a resounding no from the feds. Last week, Virgin Galactic CEO George Whitesize tweeted, Second glide flight of VSS Unity completed. Well done to the pilots and the whole crew. Great way to end the year. The Virgin Galactic spaceship is scheduled for multiple glide tests in the coming year. Iran Air and Airbus have signed a contract for 100 aircraft building on an initial commitment signed in January 2016. 
The deal covers 46A320 family, 38A330 family, and 16A350XWB aircraft. Deliveries begin in early 2017. President-elect Trump isn't done trying to get the cost of some military programs down. He says the new Air Force One aircraft is too expensive, and he is now wanting to explore the F-A-18 Super Hornet as a better solution for the costly F-35 program. Boeing delivered the 500-787 Dreamliner last week, making another milestone in the program's history. Since entering service in 2011, the 787 Dreamliner fleet has grown to include 48 operators. The aircraft was delivered to Colombian carrier Avianca. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now, let's get back to the rest of the news. The FAA says that over the last year, they have made great strides toward integrating unmanned aircraft into the nation's airspace. They say their first big step took place on December 21st, 2015, when a new web-based drone registration system went online. During the last year, the system has registered more than 616,000 owners and in individual drones. As part of the registration process, applicants are directed to review basic safety information. The FAA claims this means these registrants now have the basic aviation knowledge to keep themselves and their friends and neighbors safe when they fly. The FAA developed the automated registration system in response to a rule requiring owners of small unmanned aircraft weighing more than 0.55 pounds and less than 55 pounds to register their drones. The registration fee is $5. Because there is no record of how many drones are in the operation, it is now difficult to know how many drones continue to be operated without complying with registration regulations. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited stream daily, Monday through Friday, with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Keep flying. We'll see you tomorrow.